Another story, Keisha, that came out a couple weeks ago or last weekend was the Draymond Green situation in Golden State where he just couldn't seem to help himself. The last episode here was when he was taunting Paul Pierce when the Warriors beat the Clippers on a game that was nationally televised. Should Steve Kerr try to rein in Draymond Green or is this just a little case of Draymond being Draymond? No, Steve Kerr has to has to rein in Dr- Draymond Green. There's no question about it. But I think the biggest challenge uh, from my vantage point for Steve Kerr is to get Draymond to realize that there's a problem. He has these outbursts, and then to me, in the post games, he seems to kind of shrug them off or do a little shift blaming. Or was that? Yeah, <laughs> shift blaming. And so to me, it seems like he's he doesn't see take his actions seriously and doesn't see what the consequences were and how serious they can be. I mean, arguably, he may have cost his team the title last year by being suspended. And he needs to realize that he has built himself a reputation that he is not going to get the benefit of the doubt. And if he really is about being truly great and wanting actually to even remain with the Warriors, he's got to straighten this out because we just talked about DeMarcus Cousins and what some of his antics and what that meant and how Sacramento was really just itching to get him out of town and was willing to tra- take less than what he's worth. And we don't know, could the Warriors be get to that point where they want him gone regardless of how, how good he is? Well, Draymond Green, is just, he, it's at the point where the guy's insufferable. He's always causing controversy. He's always hurting other players. But I think when it comes down to it is, uh, you know, they're just going to have to, I mean, they've got so much talent that only time will tell what's going to happen where, how, where, where this team is headed for the next several months.